Hey guys, this is just a quick reaction video to the Justice League trailer that just got released. Um, I love it. I think it looks really good. I, the trailer was great. It didn't spoil anything. It didn't show more than it needed to. It showed off some uh, some promising footage. Uh, I really think that... Uh, well, I'm hoping that they really uh, they learn from their mistakes with Batman v Superman because... Uh, the reason why, like, with Suicide Squad, I wasn't very, like, optimistic. I was I was hoping that it was going to be good. And I was thinking that it was going to be good because it was being made by different people. But I know that they were still trying to make it in this theme of, like, the, uh, this, you know, DC sit or Extended Universe. But I know that it was already done by the time, like, they really did the whole overhaul behind the scenes. So, uh, the reason why I'm more optimistic with Justice League is that, uh... It started filming after Batman v Superman came out, like I believe, like a month, a month or two after. So that should have given him some time, you know, to see the criticism and see the problems with Man of Steel to try to, you know, fix the problems. Um, and it looks like that they've really addressed a lot of them. You know, there's a lot more color. The movie, like Man of Steel, I thought just looked ugly. Um, Batman v Superman, it got better. There was a lot more color in it, but there were still some scenes that just looked way too dark. This one looks, this one looks good. I, I, I don't think that it looks ugly. I don't think it looks, you know, it looks dark in a lot of areas, but it also feels like there's a lot more color, which, you know, I think is where a lot of people are getting, you know, the whole joyless thing out of it. It's just that there's no color. Uh, in a lot of these movies and that really plays with the audience's mind when you know you show them a lot of dark colors they're not going to feel very you know they're going to feel very down and even you know the dark knight had a lot of colors with that movie it's a very natural looking movie um because they were going for the more realistic vibe there but with this movie it looks like they also you know they're cracking some jokes um i don't know i'm not asking for you know a straight up comedy um i'm you know i think that Mar some of Marvel's best movies that they're doing with uh, the uh, you know with with comedy are like you know something like you know Captain America to me the the Civil War and you know Winter Soldier had the perfect balance for the comedy because it felt more whenever they did crack a joke it felt more a little bit more natural like it would just like a joke that comes up in conversation but in like you know they're some of their not as you know not as good movies like Age of Ultron like. It was just non-stop jokes, like which got annoying after a while. So I hope they don't go down that road. Uh, that route. I hope that they make it, you know, feel the the humor feel a little bit more natural, uh, since they're go adding more humor to these movies, which is good. Um, so what else is there? Uh, oh yeah, uh, Aquaman looks awesome. He looks great. I, I have a feeling that him and Flash are probably going to steal the show. Um, there's a lot of CGI. I know that there's there's a lot of CGI and the uh, Snyder uses it a lot. He reminds me of Lucas with that a lot of green screen. Uh, that was something that I did love about Suicide Squad is that there are a lot of practical sets and and effects, and that was something that I didn't really care for in Batman v Superman and and uh, Man of Steel is that there was just a lot of CGI. So. Um, <laughs> You have to excuse me. I, I'm just getting over the flu right now, or something. I, I got I've been sick for the past like uh, week, so uh, yeah, I, I I'm not a huge fan of all the CGI and like some of it doesn't look that great. Like Cyborg, uh, he does he doesn't look good at all. Like I feel like they really would have benefited by making like a practical Cyborg suit and then maybe like CGIing the parts over it like that that they couldn't make practical, kind of like what they do with Iron Man's costume, like, I know that, like, most of the upper torso is, is, uh, is practical, and his legs are, like, CGI and everything, and when you blend CGI with practical effects, you don't notice it very much, you know, it looks, it looks natural, and I'm thinking, maybe, hopefully, like, the CGI looks better on Cyborg in the movie, because like, I know this is just a trailer, it's not finished, so, um, they didn't show any of Superman, which I thought was good. They might as well, you know, don't, don't spoil anything, because I think they spoiled way too much with, uh, Batman v Superman. So, it shows that I feel like they're learning from their mistakes, and I, I think from now they're going to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, until DC finds their stick, because, like, I'm all for a more serious superhero movie. I, I really am, because, 
you know, I am getting a little bit marveled out. I love the MCU movies, but I am getting a little bit tired of it because you don't have any other DC movies to kind of balance things out. So I think that, you know, I, I'm all for a more serious comic book movie, just not a joyless comic book movie. Because even some of the darkest and serious comic book movies have a joy factor to them. Look at the Dark Knight trilogy or the original Batman movies. So I'm excited. I, I think it looks really good. Um, I've seen in the comments section that people are already declaring this better than every MCU movie, which I hate to be the guy who compares those those things, but I that's, that's no. I mean, it, it won't. Uh, I don't think that uh, uh, we won't know until the movie comes out. To be honest, you know, so it's like don't. I wouldn't jump to conclusions on that, you know, or just you know. Because DC, I'm not hyped for this movie. I'm optimistic, but I'm not hyped because DC has given us some great trailers for their past, you know, DCEU movies. But they haven't given us very good movies. And that's why I'm just like, this is another great trailer. But I'm not going to get hyped up for it. I'm going to manage my expectations. So I'm going to be prepared to be disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed. I want to love this movie. Hopefully, I hopefully it turns out that way, and I feel like I feel like Wonder Woman is going to be the the big turning point. That this is going to kick off some better DC movies for us, um, because for one, that's got a great director and great people behind it. It looks great, and it seems like it's you know going to do like like I've been saying, like what Captain America: The First Avenger did is like give the the DC EU some history and some you know expand the universe so like i'm really excited about that um overall though like you know there's i have a few like you know nitpicks going into this already like you know i'm i am disappointed that it's not a more classic lineup like with green lantern and martian manhunter instead of cyborg but i can see that they're going for a little bit more of the new 52 kind of rebirth uh roster and i'm sure that we will get them down the road um but yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for Wonder Woman, and I'm optimistic for the Justice League. I, I hope it's good. Um, I want to have the same amount of joy watching this as I did with the Avengers, you know, just seeing these characters on screen, um, seeing them just uh, interact with each other. I want them to, with their strong personalities, their great, you know, I want them to all have chemistry. I want them to feel like real people. So I uh, I'm excited again. Uh, yeah. What else can I say? Like, I'm optimistic. I hope it's good. I hope this is Snyder's redemption. You know that he can pull this off. Uh, so yeah, this has also inspired me to do a. I'm just gonna tease this right now. A kind of a a video to where I more talk about how I would do the DCEU. Um that I would have probably come out after Wonder Woman, but before Justice League. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not going to talk about it too much more, but because uh, I want to save that. But it's a video that I've been planning and that I'm hopefully going to get done. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Also, um, I'm gonna, I have a lot of videos planned to come out uh, in lead up to the next two DC movies as well as the Marvel movies. And I have a review coming out next week. Uh, it should be up on Wednesday. Uh, of a movie that I was didn't think I would like, but I ended up really, you know, I really I liked it more than I thought I would. So um, I'll be on the lookout for that on Wednesday. It'll be uh, probably around eleven o'clock uh, Pacific time. Also, I will be reviewing Power Rangers. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, I know that it's late, but I've been sick and I've had some other things that have come up that have taken you know, you know, away from all this. So. I will uh, be reviewing Power Rangers as soon as I can, you know, so just bear with me. But anyway, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.